Hi guys, welcome to the 23rd episode of the Geek Node podcast. Joining me this evening is uh, Meryl Rosenberg, uh, who is one of the uh, organizers at GeekFest, along with Kasia Jabremski. Uh, we, we'll get uh, Morris to pronounce that one later. <laughs> and and, uh-huh. then, and, and uh, Kasia is uh, the co-owner and of Dark Carnival and GeekFest. And uh, yeah, they work together to to bring Geekfest to us every single year. And then, of course, I'm joined by my partner in crime, Mr. Werner Morris, otherwise known as Desolation Morris. Hello. <laughs> yes, and uh, he's he's helping me this evening to 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 spoil your uh, eardrums. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and uh, mm. yeah, of course, we're here this evening talking about Geekfest 2016. So I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to, to tell us a little bit about yourselves, what you do, uh, what you guys have planned for GeekFest, you know, just the basics, and go. Uh, Kash, you give it a start. You, Dark Carnival is, 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 is really GeekFest, so you talk a little bit about that. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Right, so um, myself and my partner Richard started Dark Carnival a few years ago. Uh, when was it? 2011. And um, after that, we decided ah, we need a proper geek festival. And Meryl got involved. And it's yeah, grown since then, every year. I, I actually remember where, um, where the idea started. I don't think I should remember this because I think she was too hungover. But uh, the first medieval fair... Kasha came came bouncing us to us and, a, and waving a bottle of vodka at the time. Was it vodka? It was vodka. And went, we have to do something like this for geeks. And I was like, okay, Kasha, no problem. We'll do it. And that's pretty much where it started. Yeah, I don't think they had vodka there. Yeah, no, it was definitely vodka. You were, and you were waving that bottle. And it, it, it's vodka generally your uh, drink of choice when planning these things or, or similar things. <laughs> if tequila's not around, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or, or or the 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 other alternative, gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. No, no. Cash has always been a vodka chick. Hey, it? you know that was George Bush's uh, nickname at university, hey? Gin and tonic. Vodka chick. <laughs> Random fact of the day. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, so. Guys, uh, tell us a little bit more about what uh, everybody can expect at GeekFest 2016, attractions, yeah, just that. Um, well, I can go through that uh, because I do all the artwork for it. So <laughs> I've, I've, I've got it on my on the tip of my tongue. Um, we've got a lot going on in GeekFest 2016. You know, every year we've gotten bigger. Um, every year we've gotten a little bit more uh, more for people look, to look forward to, to look forward to. We've gotten a couple of things that we have every year, and they're super popular, um, like our cosplay competition. And this year GS is running cosplay, and on the Saturday we have the uh, the kids and the sorry the Padawans and the and the pets cosplay competition. And then on the Sunday, of course, is the main competition, and that's always. Hotly contested and an absolutely massively, um, uh, it's a huge crowd, crowd pleaser and a huge crowd spectacle. So that's the first thing we have that, that we have every year. Um, another returning favorite is we've got, uh, uh, we've got a secondhand Jawa trading store, which means you can bring your books, you can bring your old comics, you can bring anything you have duplicates of. Uh, you can dump them with us and we will sell them for you while you're going to have a good time. We have the Ultimate Geek Box back again this year, which is basically a, um, a raffle hamper. But this one's a little bit different. It's currently worth over 30,000 Rand. Wow. One winner. Yeah, of Geek Loot. So basically, every one of our 180 store holders has put something towards this, um, this hamper, one or more things uh, towards this hamper. So you have stacks, and I mean stacks of just geek goodness that is unbelievable. And the one lucky person will, will just walk away with all of that. Um, we have Robo Wars again this year, which is also massively popular. And it's drawing bigger and bigger crowds and more and more contestants. And then we've got a couple of new things happening this year that we haven't had last year. We have uh, helicopter flips 
on the day, which I'm so excited about. So, I have to grab in the helicopter. Tell us a little bit about that, Meryl. Um, there are helicopters. You go up in them. Camel Air is going to be on site and they will they will be showing you Geek Fest from above and we're yeah. super excited yeah and literally anyone can go climb in the helicopter and, and have a fly around and see what Geek Fest looks like from above and a little bit of Joburg and what's really exciting for me is that they've made it super affordable and it's 175 rand a flip Okay. which is nothing. Really, no. anyone can afford it. It's thousands and thousands of rands. And I've never been in a helicopter before. I've been in all kinds of things, mainly trouble, but I've never been in a helicopter. So I am super excited about this. Um, what else? Oh, we have um, we have also returning again, uh, we have the Medieval Fight Tonight. So Battle Heritage SA, yeah. uh, who are full metal combat, uh, have a, a full metal combat sport, uh, basically, they beat each other up with swords. Will pad you up and put you in armor, and you can take a couple of swings at them and feel what it feels like to be a medieval knight. And they assure me they haven't beheaded anyone yet. Oh, hold on, hold on. So you you get padded up, and you have to fight these guys who like Correct. fight each other every day. Mm. Basically, you should go for that. <laughs> I don't know if they'll have a, a, a suit of armor in my size. I mean, the, the, have you seen the padding on me already? <laughs> well, yeah, I should, you should survive. So. Okay, well, if you say so. I, I did it at, at Medieval Fair last year, as you guys know, so I don't think I did too horribly. Yeah, it's, 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 that was it's the a hell of a worst lot of fight I ever saw. Oh, come on, dude. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that if you had to make it up to Geek Fest, I would also dude, laugh at you, so. you. You didn't even kill the guy. Come on. No, but it's not about not killing. No, not to kill anyone because they no. need them back. Oh, yeah. oh, so it's all, oh, it's all above the belt. All right. <laughs> if you want to uh, What else? <laughs> Chop off limbs and stuff. That's oh, all. you know, I was looking forward to that. <laughs> no, uh, what sorry, else do you have? <laughs> uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to think what other... Oh, yes, coming up again this year, we have the Great Geek Challenge. Mm, which which we, are, uh, we are a part of, actually. You are a part of, I know. You're a part of it? Yes, we are. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, you would have known that if you were coming up, Morris. Come on. Well, I, I don't know really what's going on usually. Are you seriously not but, coming to yeah. Geek Fest? Like, what kind of geek are you? Seriously? Well, well he doesn't tell me things. Yeah, no, no. in his defense, though, he's, he's, he's actually son of the year. He's, he's spending some time with his mom. So yeah. we'll, we'll give him that one. We'll give him that one. Only just, huh? Yeah, yeah so. it's, it's a long, sad story. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah so great, the Great Geek Challenge is happening, and we've got a couple of other things that are that are, are new to Geek Fest, which I'm super excited about, mm -hmm. one of which is um, hashtag escape. Yes. And oh, awesome. yeah, yeah, right. What's that, yeah. Escape. What is that exactly? Okay, hashtag escape. You may have seen this on on, on an episode of uh, Big Bang. Mm. They have escape rooms, so you are in inverted commas locked in a room, and you have to solve a series of puzzles, clues, etc., uh -huh. within a certain time to get yourself out. All right. Um, and they are they're putting together little mini sort of teaser test escape rooms so that people uh -huh. can have like a little bit of that experience. All right. At Geekfest, which but it's I, not like but it's not like you wake up in a room and is it like hello Meryl. No 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 no. All right. Like, all right. No. No, it's, it's, it's actually more it's, like you wake up in a room and your kidney is missing. <laughs> and it's like all right, find your kidney. <laughs> No, no. I don't know what kind of escape rooms you guys have <laughs> No, no. That escalated but, pretty yeah. good, didn't it? No, but honestly, I, I actually participated uh, in one uh, just the other day, uh, courtesy of uh, Dark Carnival, and uh, it was a hell of a lot of fun. It's it's challenging, but not impossible. Uh, did you escape? I like that. No, no, we actually didn't ex escape. Oh, so uh, you got everyone we, killed? We were just about to. Yes, we were. We, we were literally right on the last edge. Oh. Yeah. Kasia, just, uh, she and Angie, they were in the tent. Uh -huh. uh, don't worry. It, it wasn't anything like oh. you were thinking. Yeah, and, uh, I, 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 I weren't thinking uh, anything until you said that. No, no. We were completely <laughs> missing until then. I don't know what you were thinking. And, uh, yeah, uh, the black light was on. Yeah. There, uh, there, there, there was a... <laughs> All right, this is sounding worse and worse. 
<laughs> yeah, and there, there was a hidden map on the on the back of a yoga mat, and they were trying to figure out the the the, the last puzzle. So, yeah, so let, let's just say that uh, we were right on the verge of so solving the last puzzle to unlock the last box to get the last key, and uh, time just ran out. So we, we 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 were miserable failures, but it was a hell of a lot of fun. Well, I guess that's the fun of it, right? Because not everyone can work together, well. and yes, we did. You see, now, if you guys had had me with you, you would have closed it. You would have been out of there in two minutes. Yeah, maybe uh, we, uh, maybe we should do one sorry. at GeekFest, Meryl. We, 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 we just take an hour and we just go and solve the shit out of one of those. <laughs> cool, I'm up for it. Let's do that GeekFest. Yeah. I'm really there. Yeah, lock all the GeekNet staff in a room and tell them they're not being fed <laughs> until they get out of the room. <laughs> then you'll see how quickly that wall goes flying. You see, it's all about motivation. <laughs> All about yes. motivation. Yes. It's like, um, you're not getting to play No Man's Sky until you escape this room. <laughs> and then you'll just check the teamwork. It goes down in that room. It'll be amazing. Like, <laughs> it'll be the most coordinated group of people you ever saw. You know, you say that, but you must see the food we've got at GeekFest. You must see the food. <laughs> we've got the got, coolest food ever. Yeah. Someone's telling me there's like a million food stalls and everything. And um, You know what? Uh, we work out our food stalls quite carefully. We don't like to duplicate because there's mm -hmm. no point in having 500 million people that do hamburgers. Yes, yeah, so, so I was actually so, asking about that. Like, what's the assortment of, like, what can people expect when they go there? Like, in, ter uh, in terms of food, okay, well, we've been quite careful to have, like, quite a big mix of not only sweet and savory, um, but we've got ve vegan and vegetarian stalls. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, then we've, we've got the standard hamburgers, hot dogs, blah, 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 all of that. Mm -hmm. We also have Andrew with his absolutely unbelievable ice cream. We've got Knickerbocker ice cream. Listen, it can be midwinter. I'm up for that ice cream all day, every day. It is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. We've got homemade fudge. We've got um, pizza in a cone, which oh. I mean. Oh, pizza on. cone. Those, those things are pizza awesome. Cone. What geek isn't going to lose their mind for pizza cone, right? Yeah, that's it. Um, We've got uh, our, our, we've got pregos, we've got mini donuts, we've got oh, you name it. We've got such a massive range. Um, we've got smoothie, we've got a smoothie bar. Do you have so any stalls that uh, will provide anything bacon related? Because geeks go crazy <laughs> about bacon. Well, anybody goes crazy um, about main, bacon. Yeah, yeah. Our main food stall, which is Food Fillers, which is right near our beer tent, our craft beer tent, is right next to. You. Is doing a range of bacon snacks and bacon, mm. you name it. Oh, there you go. They are, are including, including, I think they're doing a steak and bacon roll. I'm like, heaven, right? Yes. Heaven. Um, I was actually chatting them to them today. They were catching an event we were at. Absolutely delicious. So, in terms of food and drink, they, they really, they should be something for everybody's taste. Um, and we, we have to be quite careful. Ooh, ooh, we've also got the guys from some, uh, from something fresh that do the best chicken mm -hmm. in the world. If you haven't had it. Oh. So yummy. Um, yeah. So there really is something for everyone. Sorry, Kaj. Are those the guys from last year? Yes. I got them back just for you, Kaj. Yay. Yay. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, also coming up at GeekFest, we have the Pro Evolution Soccer Contest. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, which, yeah. which we are running. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That I actually about that. will be able to tell us oh. lots and lots and lots about. Um, and while we're talking about tournaments, we also have Magic the Gathering mm. and Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Mm. Yep, courtesy of D20. Other board gaming. No, and, uh, and, uh, and apparently, uh, uh, Mr. Owen Swartz, who we will also have on the podcast soon. Ooh, uh, Mr. Black. Dropped, yes, Mr. Black. Uh -huh. uh, he, he, he actually dropped <laughs> off a special surprise for VIP ticket it's, holders. He did. I was so chuffed. Yeah. But uh, we're not going to divulge that yet. We gonna yeah, we're not that. allowed to yet. Yeah, no, we're not allowed not to yet. say what it is yet. But, uh, no, no, you, secrets. Secrets, secrets. But uh, we, we, you will likely find out before the day, which is just two weeks away. Sure, that's around the corner. Yeah, so... I am so excited. I actually don't even know what to do with myself. Yeah, and Ka Kasia, tell <laughs> us a little bit about what you are most excited about at GeekFest. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so keep the heads up the 
Um, you will probably find me um, sitting in the VIP tent okay. for a few beers. <laughs> and then in the beer tent, going for more beer. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, the, the the comedians that will be having the Mal Mala, um, and a couple of other gents. Um, Mal Mala is like one of my favourites. I actually know Mal Mala uh, personally. I uh, I had the pleasure of uh, of working with his daughter-in-law a couple of years back for a charity event. They are the loveliest people. Ooh, name drop. Mal, Mal Mala, yeah. He's so so yeah. I absolutely adore him. I mean, yeah. hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, we're going to have that. We've also got some bands playing there um, on the stage. Uh, They're um, going to be entertaining us throughout the weekend. Um, can you uh, name I'm drop a couple of our bands? The... Yeah, just hey? name you... two of them. Name two there's of them. There's <laughs> there. Or three or four. Yeah, I don't, don't poke the bear. Ooh. Um, Oh, uh, the ceramics. Uh, uh, the Sextons, I think. The Sextons are also coming, guys. Yeah, the Sextons, Carl September, after Elizabeth, and Will Race. Okay, so 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 we going oh, so all so. out local. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, we should be big supporters that. of local bands. Yeah, no, that's that's fantastic. I can't wait to 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 have a listen to the guys. Providing some atmosphere. Yes, no, definitely. And yes, for the medieval sword fighting. For the medieval sword <laughs> Yeah. <fighting. Yes. laughs> yeah, and... Uh, uh, yeah. And also, as usual, we'll have our quiz going on in the beer test, which is always a hit. Okay. It's always great fun. I've already done one of them, so I um, do expect it to be um, a bit of a challenge. Um, those are going to be running both um, both days, there, Kurt. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Super. Okay, that's pretty. I'm awesome. actually going to see and if I can sneak off and actually take part in one of these for just once, just one year. Okay, oh. I think that you should. So we're not going to show you the questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll you can, HD, you it's can, fine. You could disguise yeah. yourself. I'm sure no one will notice. You know, oh, yeah, Superman no, puts on glasses just and just like all. goes his hair differently. So. <laughs> and, and if they figure out who you are, then they're going to have to disqualify you from winning anything. No, no, that's just, not good. I'll just, I'll enter HC, it's fine. No, you just said it wasn't you. It just wasn't me, you know? Like, the best, <laughs> it was best my twin sister. Ever, no, I could it. go in armor. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I worked for his letter in another just... movie, uh, A Night's Tale at Work. They didn't discover who he was until, like, the end of the movie, and then we're like, shit. Easy now. Exactly. It worked. <laughs> And to set the atmosphere we'll play, we will rock you while you're busy doing it. Yes. <laughs> That was, that was very genre-specific. Yes. Yes, it is. And it yeah. worked, surprisingly, actually. But anyway, yeah, back to GeekFest. So, anything else special that's happening? What's the... Like, obviously... You know what, what I wanted to say. Werner, there's so much happening, but we don't actually want to give away all our... No, because obviously you want to... Stuff you know, people popping come up. And see what's going on. Um, all over. I'm actually uh, interested in that thing you mentioned earlier of uh, where you can trade in things and, like, sell things on... The Jawa yeah, Trading yeah, yeah. Post. Yes, yeah, that, it is. That's, yes. That's, 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 that's my initiative. That's, my, that's what I run on the oh, day. Right, right. So that's, like, old comic Office books here? and, like, memorabilia from, say, movies or, like, collector's edition things. Pretty it's, much a- anything, provided it's not... Uh, um, providing it's not biological material. All right, best to know you can't take your underwear then. Shit. Listen, no, your, did, so your underwear is biological. That is a scary, scary thought. That's so <laughs> biological it doesn't get past the biofilter. But yeah, okay. So that, that's, 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 I could have gone my whole life without that mental image, but thank you. <laughs> Richard is pissing himself. He really liked that one most. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of biological things, uh, I believe you're going to have one of your horses there, uh, Meryl, for for people to... to yeah, on the Sunday we're going to bring the ponies through from Takara Stables. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring mine, because uh, mine okay. have mine have worked out where all the food stalls are, and in a oh, yeah. so no, like, no. Give me a hamburger. Uh, no, straight, straight, hamburger. straight for that. No, they go straight for the alcohol tents. Oh, and oh okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, you've you got some well-trained horses there. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah. Tequila. But uh, we will we definitely will be having ponies on the Sunday for, for kids. We've actually got a really nice kids area. Mm. You know, everyone this is such a family event. Um people sort of uh, people needn't feel that they, they can't bring their kids. We've got a, a fantastic mm-hmm. area that the kids can play in. There are jumping castles, there will be pony rides, there will be all kinds of things. You know what's for me always the defining factor of these uh, events like the kids' area? You know it's a great kids' area when there are actually more adults in the kids' area than there are kids. Do you know how many adults there are on the <laughs> jumping castle? We were like, uh-uh, hey, 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 you this ride to jump. Hey, ponies! <laughs> yeah. Which, which okay. reminds me, have you guys seen at uh, Greenstone Shopping Mall that they've actually built an entire like jumping uh, trampoline a style trampoline. area? A trampoline place. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that is it epic. It looks like such a oh, so job. that's what they were building there. Yes. I was and there about a year ago and I was wondering, what's with all this bloody construction going on here? So, oh, nice yeah. job. It looks oh. like so much fun. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's a fantastic little okay, place that you can take your kids to. You can go yourself if you're that yeah. way inclined. I don't care about kids. I want to go. Uh, exactly, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Isn't no. that my way? <laughs> We, 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 we can maybe go past the, uh, after, <laughs> or, before, the or, before or after sushi. I don't know. Um, do it's you probably think better to go idea. before sushi because you might yeah. not. Yeah, I'm going to say before. I'm going to say definitely let's go before. Preferable. <laughs> yeah, so, so tell me, guys, um, moving on to, to, to a different topic. Um, obviously... Being Geek Note, we cover a wide variety of topics. One of them are movies. Tell us a little bit about some of your most anticipated upcoming movies. Who are you talking to? All of you. Listen, all I know, all I know is that Geek Fest is coming up. I haven't even noticed movies coming up. Let me survive Geek Fest, and I will go and look at movies again. What do you mean there are movies coming up? Are you mad? Well, surely you've heard of Captain America's Civil War and uh, later this year Suicide Squad. I've got Geek Fest to look look forward to. Why would I be thinking about movies? Come now. All right, well, there's the end of that conversation, (laughs) Besta. No, you don't even know what's coming, okay? I I don't know. All I know is they're planning on making a Dark Tower movie with Idris Alba, who's a Oh, 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 wait, you know what I am looking forward to is the, is the, um, oh, now I've gone absolutely blank. The one with Harley Quinn, help yes, me. Suicide that's Squad. Squad yeah. like, yes, that, that's my kind of movie. But I think what people don't realize is that we put so much that, that putting this event together is so time consuming and there's so much that goes into it. If you think about it, we've got approximately 300 cast crew and press. We've got 180 stalls, which gives us about 450 stallholders and, and, and staff to organize and get together. We've got all the entertainment, all everything to organize, plus the venue, plus everything that goes into the venue. We get so focused on this and we spend so much time that everything else stops. No, no, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So I, I think that people, you know, are like, how much work can it be? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> yeah, even even just the couple of stuff that we're putting together for Geek, Geek Fest is, uh, it, it's quite a bit of work. Oh, that's uh, a bloody nightmare. We, even can't de- we can't even get that done. It's like, who's yeah. going to do this? Come over here. Yeah, listen, I think, you know what? We've, we've got a super good team. And we've, we've worked together for a long time and, and been friends for a long time. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think that, uh, look, I would love to say it gets easier every year, but we put more stuff in every year. Don't so it bigger. doesn't really. Mm. Yeah, so it, it, you, you're doubling the amount of work in preparation that needs to go mm-hmm. into it. I mean, you know, I know and, and every time there's something new, you're not 100% sure how it's going to swing out. And, and every you know, year the stuff that is in place is great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, uh, with with the recent venue change, I know that you guys have had oh, to in, in, in introduce a whole bunch of, of <laughs> new, you know, stuff I that you never even had to think of there. before. It is no. ballistic. Yeah. 
So yeah. I, I, I don't envy you guys. I, I, I sat in a, in, in a couple of your meetings and, my God. And what? I'm, I'm sitting there. All these things are flying over my head and I'm thinking to myself, holy crap, how do you guys handle this? Uh, <laughs> to-do lists. Yeah, to-do I know, lists. I know, but... Don't die on our to-do lists. But I mean... Oh, just... and we have a PA. <laughs> and we yes. have a PA. We have Ooh. an absolute ass-kicking, super, super, super organized machine of a PA. Yeah. And between yeah. the machine of the PA and a, a to-do list, that's how we get it done. And we just work through it. Oh, that's a shout-out. Hello, machine PA. Hi. Uh, her, 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 her name is Angie. And, Yay, um, Angie. We love yes. you, Angie. Hello, hey. Angie. Love you, Angie. Please don't leave us ever. Yes, I haven't even met you. I love you. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so... Hey, it, it it really is. It's 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 a super involved. It's it's involved, and then you know, and as we do as we do more and more and more events every year, which I'm going to tell you is a little hint. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I'm just going to say watch the space. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so we literally for 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 three to four months, our lives stop, and all there is is geek fest. There is no going out trolling. There is no movies coming up. There is none of that. None of that. That all stops. Um, so our, our, our geekiness just turns inwards, <laughs> really, for a couple of months. But as soon as we get through, if, as long as we make it through GeekFest alive, that's cool. We'll be back to looking, watching movies and eating pizza and playing games and doing what we usually do. Briefly, yeah, yeah the next one gets. Awesome. Well, what you, what you could look forward to once you are done with GeekFest is um, Suicide Squad, as best noticed. And um, there's a new Tarzan coming out, and Jungle Book. Oh, I'm watching that. Jungle Book has recently been released again, and um, it's quite epic, like graphics-wise. Have you seen the graphics? Story-wise, it's the same old thing you've seen the animated one, but the graphics are quite beautiful. Hey. The graphics have quite a. The CGI they used in that movie has a real weight to it. It feels real, like Mm -hmm. when the tiger jumps, it's not just like, oh, look, he's jumping. There's like real physics behind how he jumps and moves and everything just feels like it has a certain mass to it. And I quite enjoyed that. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Everyone's losing the absolute shit about Rogue One. That's yes. coming out later this year. And uh, all those fan theories, dude. Come uh, on. Hey, you know what? Um, they actually debunked the thing about uh, Ray's father and parents being in Episode 7. Oh, Th- uh, Abrams came out and said, "No, you know what? Uh, her parents are not in that movie." Yeah. No, really. So now everyone's like, "Oh, so who the fu- who, what now, huh?" You know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now no one really knows what the hell to say because now they're saying, "Oh, okay, no, no, no." Now the new people have been shown in Rogue One. Surely her parents are in there. Yeah, and I think JJ Abrams actually in an interview the other day he said that. Uh, he is not willing to divulge, and it's mm-hmm. not really his place because he's officially stepped away from the Yeah, he's shows done with it now. He, he, uh, he may or may not have already placed Ray's parents in The Force Awakens. So, uh, he, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit... But then he's uh, contradicting himself because he flat out came and said they are not in that movie. But he might have introduced them already. Like, you might have heard them mentioned yeah. in... The Force Awakens. That is now you're kind of wondering, like, hmm. But I think it, I think it turns out that, um, like, I think they don't even have they don't even have a solid choice of who her parents are yet, because I think her parents might appear in one of those spin-off sequel thingies. Because remember, you're still getting the solo, um, well, solo, the Han Solo movie, the standalone one. Yeah. And then you're getting Rogue you One. For that. I'm keen to see that. They actually, I think, I think they costed a guy recently, or they're looking to cost um, some other kid now, and I'm not sure how he's going to do, but I think he might pull it off. Uh, it remains to be seen. It's quite still far into the future. I mean, he's going to be much older by the time he does it, <laughs> but I, I don't know. We'll have to see, but I think her parents might actually appear in one of those movies, and then you'll understand, like, oh, so that's why she was putting the rebel fighter helmet thingy on her head when she was sitting there in the desert in Force Awakens, well, that, that makes sense. Well, that that has already been explained, but yeah, that's just that's a story for no, another just, podcast. No, but that's just an example, you know, <laughs> like you'll explain other things in this movie by other things you see elsewhere, but yeah, you get, you get what I'm getting at. 
but while we're on the topic of sci-fi, uh, have any of you guys seen the trailer for uh, the new Independence Day research? Oh, I've seen that, yes. yes. I saw it. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of in two minds. I wasn't a huge fan of the first one. Um, and, and, and usually, I mean, I will suspend disbelief and watch anything pretty much uncritically, um, anything sci-fi or fantasy, no. pr- up to a point. Um, but, I, I, you know, the first one didn't grab me, and I'm not sure why. Maybe I just watched it on a bad day. And I watched, I watched, the, um, I watched the, the sequel, and I was like, yeah, okay, maybe give it a go. Let's see. No, so I'm going to wait and see and try and be as open-minded as I can. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you got to do, you know. But I'd like, I hate all these reboots and sequels, and you know, sometimes it's just like, sometimes you know, just what? Leave the it. movie don't don't mess with it, you know. And yeah, I'm just waiting you. for to do like reboots and and sequels to some of my really famous like favorite movies, and and like, I'm not going to be happy if they. Got no, I agree. I think that like like Blade like Runner, like 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 Miss Eve Alone, the Dark Crystal. Yeah, you know, like it's kind of like. You know, leave it and come up with something else. Mm. You, you, you guys yeah. know what I like. I like compa- compartmentalized stories. Yeah, I'm sure they know what you like. <laughs> Morris. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, we don't. We don't want no, don't, don't no, no, Oh, no, it's that bad. No, okay. no it's, not, it's that bad. Oh, no, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like comp- compartmentalized stories, uh, whether they, they tell the story in one movie or across several, but mm-hmm. they need to lay out the plan so that people can know what to expect and not mm. throw them with unnecessary sequels. Or no. if, if if 20 years later they decide they want to rehash the story, then reboot mm-hmm. it. I've, I've been very vocal in the past about my dislike for reboots, and I'm still adamant to this day that I think the, the whole idea of reboots and and, and even on, on, on video games, uh, like... Mm-hmm. You know the the whole re, re rehashing of a story. It doesn't really appeal to me. I mean, rather like what the guys from Mass Effect are doing with Andromeda at the moment. They asked their fans, "What do you want?" And the the majority of the fans responded with a simple, uh, "We want a new story in the same universe." Most, mm. uh, you know, Commander Shepard. Yeah, I think most people done. are gonna go there. I think most people are going to... Yeah. Oh, speaking about in a new universe, do you see they're finally making a movie of um, Farscape? Yes, I actually saw Farscape. that. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so excited. Gosh, that's amazing. I just got goosebumps, man. What's yes. that? Sorry, I missed that I word. Was it Farscape? Farscape, yes. Farscape. Oh, Farscape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and uh, apparently John Crichton is coming back and uh, uh, Dargo's son, Little D. So. Oh, I'm very excited about But you know, um, John, you said you didn't like reboots, same. Eh? You yeah. see, they're making a reboot of reboots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I saw. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they could go with that that thing. Not, I don't know. Like, you know what? Um, again, that's one of my absolute favorites. I had two two cats called Hack and Slash for years. Um, that's pretty so, cool. Cat names. Yeah. Oh. Especially if you'd known these cats. So if, if if they kind of just redo it and and stay true and just improve the graphics, I, I doubt it. Because the thing is, it's set it's inside good. a computer, and a computer in 1995 was a lot different than a computer yeah. now. So yeah. now they're going to have to introduce other things, like finding a computer. For instance, I don't know how far you watch reboot. Um, uh, what do you think? Probably all the way through. Correct. Right? But they were actually in that era struggling to find a computer that has ports to the net, you know. Uh, yeah. Now you're online all the damn time. Um, the a virus well, is not, not necessarily. If they were in a mainframe, if you think about a, a corporate mainframe, although why anyone would be playing yeah, games? Why would they be, the amount of games that fucking guy played on his computer, and he never won a single one. <laughs> no, no, it's, it was quite pathetic. It's like, really which makes me think that maybe it was a corporate mainframe, main, mainframe after all. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe it was like a game dev company or something. You never know. It's like maybe they're <laughs> testing demos and shit. You know? Yeah. I have to. I, I saw a lot of games there that presented concepts that we actually later saw in games. Which oh, sure, I thought, sure, sure, yeah. Which is actually quite cool. Um, they even did a bit of a, a crossover, a little, a few puns. I they did a um, Ash vs. the Walking Dead. Yeah. Up type of thing, not Evil Dead, sorry, not Walking Dead, Evil Dead, um, type of thing. There, there was a game like that, and then yeah, I, I seem to remember. 
because uh, concept. But I, I, it remains to see, be seen how they're going to implement that. Because as, as I said, a computer is quite different now. And now you've got this concept of VR coming. So now if a user is going to use a VR helmet, is he going to then appear inside the game? And then but they're going to... Yeah, like, but you know what? VR of, has been around for years. It has years been. Years and years and years and years. And it's uh, been tried to... They have tried to launch it repeatedly. And no one gave a shit ever. And No one's been biting. But maybe now... Yeah, maybe, maybe everyone's going to like buy into that now. But I think for the first while, it's going to go the same route as those little motion sticks they released for the PlayStation 3. Yeah, and, and Everyone the, and bought it, Wii. and I was like, yeah, this could be the <laughs> ah, so cool. What do we do this? <laughs> Nothing. And, and then, they made probably like three games on the PS3 that could play with those things. Yeah, and it was like, oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so that was nice. The, the, word, the word you're looking for is novelty items. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. And, and unfortunately, we live in a society where novelty is... Uh, it's it's a lot more apparent than anything else. So uh, b- people get bored of things very quickly. Yes. Yeah, and you know everything everything comes around. Um, I run a, a completely unrelated website, and we have a little chat room on it that just runs on um, runs on an IRC tab. Oh, IRC! I still use IRC actually. Dude, so do I. I used to yeah. run. I used to run IRC networks back in the day. No yeah, me, me as well. I, yeah. I used to be an operator and a quite mm-hmm. prominent one on Lagnet back in the day. Were you on Lagnet? Yes, yes. yes. Uh-huh. What was your neck? Uh, I cannot tell you. <laughs> yeah, you need to tell me later. My parole officer won't allow it. Yeah, it's I, a reason I, I'm on parole. I too uh, was a big IRC. Uh, oh shit! That's gonna come out. We all three know each other. Yeah, can I tell you something? <laughs> I, I I ran one of the biggest uh, channels on Lagnet for years, boys. Be careful was... what you say. I have logs going back fourteen years. Fourteen oh, years. Wow. Fourteen Christ. years. I have all the logs of all those. Wait channels. a minute. Did, did you run hot tub? I did. You know that's exactly where, who I am. That, oh, that's where I fuck! Know it's you. you. Correct. And, and and. <laughs> I'm, oh my god! Okay, I'm finished. What fine. was I'm your neck? Cool. I'm finished. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. actually say Were something. Wait, are that... you Morticia? Ah, uh, correct. So, uh, okay, I remember uh, making fun of you, and you god. weren't very impressed with me. This is no, such I probably a wasn't. Um, small no, I was, I was very original back in 1999. I called myself Neo. Oh, dude, how's that? How are you? No, oh, I'm pretty okay. <laughs> Esther, what the fuck, dude? Now you started some whole other shit. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't spoken to you in years. Yeah, I, my for yes, I was notorious back then, even. And there wasn't even much of an internet to be talking about. Oh no, no, listen, it was little baby then. Yeah, mm. I was really small and was pretending to be older than I really uh, am. Yeah, I realized that one because I was yeah. chat to the guy who ran your internet. Yeah. yeah. Mm, yes, <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? Yes, that? yes. I was chatting up people way older than me. Uh huh. And then I was an operator in a panel called Flood Zone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very appropriate for a 17 year old. Mm. Mm. Yes. No, listen, that wasn't my channel. I never went in there. Didn't Bain run that? Um, I, I just sat around in Hot Top, usually insulting other people. Like, um, who. We probably know all the same people as well. Mm-hmm. I have lost touch with everyone. I'd, I'm in touch yeah. with everybody. Come chat to me later. I'll put you in touch with them. They're all still around. Oh, really? Because I, yeah. I, I went to Lagnet back in the, like a few months ago again, and it's like just dead. And this is No, weird. listen, all the, all the servers have been decommed. But um, yeah, yeah, I would, you know, I'll, I'll put you. I'll show you where we all where we're all chatting. All, oh, everyone's well, well, that's, still around. That's to say if, if I want to, because I wasn't all that popular. Yeah, but listen, you were 17. No one's popular when they're 17. They need a, oh, well, I was uh, they need a fat smack and sent to bed without dinner. <laughs> well, that still happens on occasion. Yeah, I bet. Did, yeah. did any of you guys ever chat on Nightnet? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, a couple of friends of mine were ups. What, what's a good? Nightnet. Nightnet. I, was Nightnet. Actually, I, was I actually, never went there. I was actually an op on there as well. I ran. Oh, you were also about 17 around that time, weren't you? 
Mm. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I spent I spent a big part of my youth on IRC. So oh, here uh, come the dark secrets s- now out <laughs> of the geek node corners. And and on the Five FM IRC network, uh, Blabbernet. I don't know if you oh. guys remember that. Oh, I remember Blabbernet. Oh, I actually uh, met my wife on IRC. You know that. Well, yeah. I met I... my wife on IRC. You know that. <laughs> Did you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I've met a couple of ex-boyfriends on RC actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> God, uh, this is a bit of a deep, dark <laughs> web of um, secrets and deceit. <clears throat> and... There are yes. no secrets, my friend. I have all your logs. I'm busy looking them up right now. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was the I was the Neo with the zero in the name. Yep, not, I know. Not the one with the O. Yep, I know. Because the O was registered, and I didn't like that guy. <laughs> I remember there was drama, internet drama about that. That was quite funny. Yeah, there's yeah, still to this day. If I find that guy, I'm gonna kick his fucking ass. Because <laughs> you know yeah, what? I don't actually, think you, would, eh? you know, actually, that name has absolutely fuck all to do with the Matrix, and no one believes me. Because I was on there before The Matrix even was a fucking concept at all. Oh, yeah. No, that was long before those movies. Hey? It's super long before. Yeah, I was there before that even became a thing. And then I thought, listen, okay, I'm, I'm kind of a noob here. So uh, I don't really know what's going on. So let me give myself an appropriate name. So I thought, okay, well, just calling myself new or noob or something's going to be stupid. So <laughs> let me go look in another language, you know. And then I thought, hey, new, that sounds kind of, well, you know, Nazi, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, that that kind of sounds cool. So let me go do that, and then it's like, oh fuck, it's registered. So I was like, oh, we put a zero on there. Hey, it's not registered. Yay! <laughs> let me go make trouble with people much older than me. Yeah, and Lagnet, you 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 could pretty much try and register any name. You sit there for like half an hour trying to figure sure. out which one that you want to register. I just oh, oh, man, gave up. Was... Every time I just come in with a guest nick and I'll change it every now and then. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked that most of these people are still alive. Oh, still around. Um, Vern, I have a look in our chat. I've just popped you. I, in. I, I check. I'm checking it now. You see that? Is um is like the original guys still around? Yep. Like um yep. Ocean and like Row and like those guys are they still around? You know? Um, Ocean Ocean's online every so often. We don't see that much. Who oh man, Ocean! For? I will never forget it. I got I got so unpopular um because I was making fun about him that one time. His fucking house was getting robbed, right? Jeez, like, that's not okay. <laughs> no, but listen to this. His house is getting robbed. And this guy is on RC he's telling online. me. And he's telling me, guy, he's telling his guys, this, I just looked outside. And there's guys climbing out of my wall. They're breaking into my house. <laughs> and we're like, dude, call the fucking police. And he's like, no, dude, I can't call the fucking police. My downloads. So, and he's on his desk. <laughs> He's up his desk, and he's like going on to us, like you can hear them in the house. And we're what like, do I do? You're like, call the cops. No, but did my downloads, and they robbed him. And he was in his study the whole time. Yeah, but I'm also thinking that I'm, I'm not entirely sure I believe that story because that one did the rounds a couple of times. Well, he, he, I was there as it happened that night, and he was telling us like a play by play, and I was like, hmm. <laughs> And I didn't really leave him alone ever since after that. And then I got so fucking unpopular by all the other ops. And then I just was like, okay, whatever. I discovered girls now. So, see you guys. Yeah, you see you. Yeah, I discovered, like, my puberty hit late in life, so. Yeah. And I was like, oh, all right, cool. Alpha male activated. Yeah. yeah. No, but most of the old guys are still around. Um, oh, that's old, awesome. Old, I'll actually, I'll actually go and join that group um, uh, under under strict advisement. <laughs> we'll see. So, I, so, I really, so I really moving, can't believe. Moving on from IRC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't know where that came from, but yeah, this is what you get. Oh, well, this the, is what... The po- okay, before we got horribly distracted, the point I was trying to make was that even the old technology is coming around again. You know, we get people on on this little chat room that's going, wow, this is a new and interesting like technology, this chat stuff. Where we're going, no, oh, guys, it's been around forever. So, yeah, the point I was trying to make before I got my, 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 my secret alter ego identity got rumbled. Um, was that there's nothing really new under the sun, you know? Everything's sort of coming around again. Mm. Yeah. 
no, Sorry, no, no, no. that was a conversation killer. What was no, will be no. again. That's like yeah, the, exactly. that's a line from Ghostbusters. <laughs> and the Bible. So, really? Who's gonna and go and watch Ghostbusters? <laughs> the uh, reboot. The new one. Oh my god, I'm dreading the new one. <laughs> so, well, I, yeah. I it. it's, um, yeah, all women. It's an it's an all girls cast. All girls cast. And girl cost, and, um, and, and that apparently uh, is, is is very in right now. So so that it? it's got that going for it. And mm-hmm. and apparently Chris Hemsworth is in it. Uh, he, he plays the secretary. Oh yes, Thor. Thor is the secretary. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> And he's in charge of logo design, among yes. other things. Yes, he's a graphic designer. Yes. That's a terrible and he designed idea. a logo of a ghost with boobies. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, quite enjoy. Yeah. Also, another line from Ghostbusters, quite enjoy. Peter McNichol, Ghostbusters 2. Oh. Yes, quite enjoy. Quite Go enjoy. Quite enjoy. No. Okay, so, so speaking about quite enjoy... Um, <laughs> Don't know if you guys uh, follow Doctor Who at all. They 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 made the new companion announcement yesterday. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah I don't the, know who is the actress. Um, I don't think anybody does, to be quite honest. But uh, the little clip they show of her, the, she she looks kind of cute. But um, it it's gonna take some time for people to get used to her. Um, it's not quite the same for me when they initially revealed Jenna Coleman. I immediately latched onto her. She was freaking amazing. Uh, it's not quite the same with, with this chicky, what's her name? Uh, Pearl Mackey. Um, she, she's described as being kind of geeky, uh, inquisitive, challenging, I don't know. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. I don't know if they're introducing her in the Christmas special or next year, but it's, it's looking quite interesting. Who is your favorite companion? Mine. Um, yeah. I would have to say uh, Donna Noble. Matu! Oh, she's the best. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's the best. I love her. The, the dynamic between her and David Tennant was just absolutely phenomenal. I freaking yeah. in, enjoyed every second of their time together. Initially when they introduced her in the Christmas special where she was about to get married and yada 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 uh, she kind of grated yeah. on me a bit but as soon as they started the run with her as the companion in earnest um, you could just see that the, the, that combination just worked. Like right off the bat. Yeah. <coughs> I agree. Yeah. It's also um, kind of fan of and and we won't ask Morris because he thinks Daleks yeah. are classic robot uh, thingies. Yes. C- classic yeah, robot I'm a, tank thingies. Yeah, I must be honest. If people, yes, tank thingies. If, if people ask me who my favorite companion is, my answer is always Inara. And then they look at me funny, so I'll just oh, leave you, that. You, you're, you're a classic Google. Um, no, Firefly. Oh, yes. Inara? <laughs> no. Uh, Oh, you're talking... Okay, companion, uh, I get it. Now. I yes. get it. It, it, uh, took, it, <laughs> it, it. It took me a moment, but yes, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and uh, you know, talking about Firefly, I, I get so furious every time around April Fool's Day. People are, like, posting up stuff like uh, Firefly is officially coming back for season two, and then you click on it, and it's like, oh, fuck. Really? It's a fucking hoax? <laughs> <laughs> they really like to tug at your at your heart. Uh, dash your dream. Yeah. Uh, it's not right. Yeah, unfortunately, it's really not right. The, the dreams <coughs> of of Firefly season two is as de- is as dead as wash. <sighs> I don't even go there. It's it really it sad. But, uh, yeah. So we were but, having a discussion. Yeah. Go and, ahead. Uh, movie guy and they were talking about all series like favorite series that have been cancelled and I called in and I was like I speak for every geek on the planet when I say Firefly yes. yeah right there mm. well, they right were quite there. shocked with that Th- those feels <laughs> <laughs> those feels yes please don't tell me that's another Ghostbusters reference <laughs> no no it's not <laughs> no, I'm just laughing because it's hilarious yes yes Oh, but um, ju- just just um, 
we, we, we're nearing on the end of our allotted time. So um, allotted time. Allotted time. Yeah, we 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 we've been going almost an hour. Good um, Lord. Is there is there anything else that you guys want to talk about? Uh, maybe upcoming events that after Geek Fest that you guys are busy planning. Is a there's there's a, there's a secret one in in the works that's upcoming. Okay. Um, uh, I really don't want to say too much until until we've got things a little bit more in place. Yeah. But uh, all I want to say is don't don't plan anything too close to Halloween. That sounds mm. interesting. I just, I, yeah, I'm just gonna put it there. Okay. Uh, then I have a couple of other, a couple of other events coming up. I've got a medieval banquet, okay. which is a sit-down dinner for 300 close friends, uh, <laughs> in the 4th of June. Okay. Um, ticket sales are absolutely rocketing for that one. So if you haven't booked already, get on it. Yeah, don't don't mean, wait forever. Yeah, you um, and the then I have. On that one. Yeah. I'll give you the details. Okay. Uh, and then I have, which is going to is is going to go live probably Monday or Tuesday. I have a steampunk ball coming up. Oh, people are really yeah, going to that that day. Absolutely. So I'll let you have the details of that. Okay. Um, obviously, those two are, are much, much, much smaller than Geekfest and and Medieval Fair. And then of course there's Medieval coming up in September. Yes. But yeah, like I said, um, just watch the space a little bit. Don't make plans for for the weekend of Halloween. We've got okay. stuff going going down. Okay. Oh, we got so much things said. We'll play yeah, for yeah. you. <laughs> we, we literally, when we are not actively working on one event, we are thinking up more. Yes, that, that's <laughs> well, the that's way that cool. it should be in the geek world. <laughs> because you, 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 you really never ever can uh, run out of interesting things to do when it comes to geekery. Because... You know, and, and, and if so you thanks. do that, then there's something wrong with the community. And fortunately, mm -hmm. we've got a fantastic community in South Africa. Uh, every single one of the geeks that I know, they 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 are awesome. And, you know, from cosplayers to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, even to, to all the exhibitors and everybody that, that, uh, that exhibit at GeekFest, uh, Rage, all these people, they are awesome fantastic in the way that they promote and uh, grow yeah. the geek community. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think I think that what makes us unique is that Kasha, Richard, myself, we we organize events that we really want to go to. Yeah. That we really love and 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 we do it because we like the event. The only problem is you don't get to experience it. You guys get so freaking busy. Yeah. You know, every year, every year we hire more and more and more minions, so we can. And yeah. I've now got it down, so I have one hour to go and look at everything. Yeah. So that is my hour. If anyone speaks to me, I'm going to kick them in the shins. <laughs> well, Leave I'm me gonna, alone, don't ask right, me. I'm going to book you for stuff. that hour for, for escape room, so... <laughs> yeah, no, listen, I'm I'm so keen, hey, I want to do that so badly. So this year, I'm actually going to go to GeekFest and yes. do stuff. Yes. <laughs> Watch me. I'm going to. I'm going to find an hour and make it happen. Yes. Ooh, okay. watch me. Watch me. Watch you. <laughs> what, what are you doing, man? I'm singing a song, dude. That doesn't really? sound like don't singing. You know, don't, don't you know music? Mm, really? Yes. yes, I do. So, so Werner, do you, do you prefer that to singing? What? <laughs> Whatever it was you were doing. Oh, no. That was actually <laughs> part of that was actually part of a song that stuck oh. in my head. Uh, it's a song from uh, a guy called Silento. He just did like one song ever, and now you know why. Yeah, and the star, the song actually had the chorus goes, "Ooh, watch me, watch me." Um, that was, that's so stupid to have in your head, but it's been in my head for like three days. So <laughs> yeah, okay, so moving can't really help from, it. From, I apologize. From that little piece of awkwardness. Um, just a uh, just a quick uh, brief overview. Uh, tell us when is Geekfest? Ticket prices. Where can people go to to get tickets? Tell us about the different types of tickets available. Obviously, there's quite a few. What do you, what do they get with the tickets? Uh, we have we have exactly ten VIP tickets left. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, VIP tickets are a thousand rand each. Okay. And before you go, oh my god, that's not much. They give you let, let, everything. They give let, you, let, um, let they it give sink you in for a moment. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, 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 don't fall over too hard. Oh. Um, 
they give you access uh, to the event for both days. They give you a fast pass, which means you jump to the head of every single queue. Oh, no really? queues for you, every queue, anywhere, any stall, any activity, any queue, you jump to the front. Oh. Um, yeah. You so get you just in- go and flash it and then you can like walk past all the peasants and go to the front. Exactly that way. That's exactly awesome. Exactly like that. And they um, really do call them peasants, by the way. <laughs> no, no, only at many events. Oh, oh, okay. Like at at okay. Geekfest, it's just, just geeks. We, we, um, we call them regular geeks at Geekfest. Yeah, regular oh, geeks. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> also, also with that with that VIP ticket becomes a uh, a free limited edition Geekfest T-shirt, which which you, which you can then buy as well, and you can buy online. But what that gives you is um, that, ult- remember I told you about that 30,000 Rand Ultimate Geek Box that's up for grabs? Mm-hmm. So every time you buy a ticket for that, if you are wearing a GeekFest shirt, for every, every ticket you buy, we give you another one. Ooh. Um, also, yeah, also in the VIP package is a free fighter night, a free archery uh, um, voucher, a voucher for the laser tag, a voucher for the hashtag escape, a voucher for the helicopter flip, um, a voucher into the cosplay competition, uh, and another free, uh, 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 another um, uh, uh, go into the ultimate geek box, and it gives you free VIP parking, and it gives you access to the VIP area. Yeah. So it's really, it, you know, it's it's super worth it. It gives you the most amazing geek fest experience. No queues, everything for free. You just pay with with vouchers. Well, that's actually worth it then. I think that's. Well, this is what we, it's you know, we, when we look at the thousand rand. It's yeah. worth a lot more than the thousand rand, Wait, and I tell you, just I, the amount of just effort to not it's stand saying. in a queue. Like I don't oh. know about you guys, but I'm so allergic to queues. I can't. I can't yeah. be. I cannot be wasting my time I in queues. I cannot even. I cannot. I, even. I literally cannot even right now. Correct. <laughs> so, for me, that 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 for me is 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 enough right there. Um. Then we can, we the general admission we've got um the, uh, uh, at one fifty online. Um, for both days. So if you want to come in, if you want to buy a ticket for both days, it's 150. If you want to come in for one day, it's 100. So it actually pays you to come come both days. Mm. Um, and then, look, tickets will be available in the queue, hopefully, if we're not yeah. completely sold out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we should have, we should still have, but they're going to be at a premium. They're going to be a lot more expensive than, than online. So if you use your head and go to www.quicket.co.au, Today, you can get tickets there. You can also, if you go to the the Geekfest uh, Facebook page, um, or the Geek uh, or the, the Geekfest um, website, really? yeah. there's also you can buy yeah they, you can buy tickets on 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 either the Facebook page or the uh, uh, or the websites. Okay, and and uh, uh, the, the dates, starting times. Seventh and eighth of May, 10 a.m. Both days. Both days, yeah. Okay, and as I understand it, some of the stalls will even go on, on until about eleven o'clock. So there's, yeah, there's it's, plenty it's happening. Yeah, we're gonna keep 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 partying. Yeah. Okay, and uh, yeah, any any final messages before we sign off for the evening? We actually yeah, we need I have something to say. Um, guys, remember to bring sunblock. There you go. Yes. You have to find. You're welcome to uh, bring chairs to sit on. It is an outdoor thing, so please don't complain to me that you have no way to sit. Okay, sit so we'll be seating a bathroom. Yeah, sit on the grass or, or go to the beer garden. Otherwise, bring your own camping chairs. Also, bring something warm because it will be chilly in the evening. Yeah. Um, whereas the seating is concerned, uh, Geek Node will very likely have. Uh, space to sit. We, we're looking at uh, putting some tables out in front of our stall so people can sit down, chill, maybe play board games. Oh, that's a great want. idea. Yeah, so so we, we, we are encouraging people to geek out right there. <laughs> yeah. That's a fantastic idea, guys. How cool. Yeah, and, th- and then of course, uh, big announcement coming tomorrow from Geek Note side. We are going to have a raffle as well over the two days. Uh, current uh, total prize value sitting at uh, sitting pretty at just uh, over three grand. Uh, tickets selling for that at a hundred bucks. 
and uh, I'm, I'm going to be announcing uh, what exactly will be in the hamper tomorrow. That will obviously grow as we head towards uh, Geekfest. Mm-hmm. So I have a really important question. Are we allowed to enter? Unfortunately not. Uh, ah, no. you suck. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's not fair. I know. I they know. told me I'm not allowed to enter the, 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 the ultimate geek box either. I'm like, oh, oh really? Yeah. I know but, what's going in there. I want it. But if you guys want, as a part of the VIP ticket, uh, I can I can give you how many VIPs are you expecting? Total? We probably we're not in total. There'll be fifty. Okay, uh, I can uh, put in an, a, an entry voucher into our raffle into that as well. Thank you, we accept. Yes, and uh, mm -hmm. obviously the PES tournament, uh, if you guys are listening, you would like to participate in that. We've got over 6,000 Rand in the prize pool in terms of prizes available on that one. Um, yeah, and that costs 100 bucks to enter as well. We'll accept payment in uh, cash. We'll have snap scan on the day and card payments via our friends at WebPoint. Yeah, cash stash or ass. Cash or ass. Cash yeah, or cash stash or ass. Cash stash or ass. <laughs> cash stash or ass. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah, we, we, we are, we're going to allow 32 people to enter the tournament. Uh, preliminaries will be held on the Saturday, quarter semis and finals on Sunday, and we're going to have two soccer stars. I'll tell you uh, who will be there in a moment. I know one of them is Tabu September. Um, I'm just quickly pulling up the names here. Um, yeah, it's Tabu September from Super Sports United. He will be at the gaming tent at Geekfest, meeting and greeting people, as well as Enrico Buertis from Bidvest Vits. Uh, so if you're a PSL fan and you'd like to meet these very awesome soccer players, uh, pop on through to the, to the gaming tent and come and check them out and say hi. That is, of course, also one of the challenges on the Great Geek Challenge. So... Uh, if you do that, then you actually have completed one of the challenges. The other, of course, if you see a Geek Node uh, staff member walking around at Geekfest, walk up, say hi, give them a high five, and then you've completed another challenge. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. You realize you're going to be being high-fived by 46 million people, huh? I have 46 no million? 46 million. Jesus exactly. Yeah. Exactly 46 million, okay. Correct. All right, right. not one over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the there are tend to exaggerate the stats. Not at all. all. <laughs> not at all. I, 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 I'm pretty sure you, you, you hope and wish that there was 46 million people coming through the gates. Not, not that I think you'd uh, be no. able to handle it. No, no 46 <laughs> no, million no, would be a problem. No. I at, definitely at, don't wish that at all. No, no. At, at least 10,000, though. Yeah, I think we should comfortably have 10,000. Um, I think over the, I think two, the, over the, over two, the two days. days. Yeah, I think that, that, that that's quite realistic. I think 5,000 a day. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. But guys, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on the Geek uh, Podcast. It's a pleasure. That was fun. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have you guys on again soon for hopefully for, for more of your future events. You can oh, you know you will. More. Yeah. Have a good evening and thanks again. You too. Cheers, guys. Bye. Cheers, Bye.